That's the little rock Emerson picked out. And Dan's so kind, he brought it by hand. What do you say? Louder! Good morning, everyone. We're here on project number 14 of 2022. I am so excited. I love what I get to do for a living. Have I told you that yet? Have I? I think I have. If I haven't, I love what I get to do for a living. We build water features and they're, or they're ornamental water features. And what we do is we really help people enjoy their homes quite a lot more. A lot of our clients will say a water feature makes their house a home. And when our, peop when our clients end up having a water feature and they decide they have to move for various reasons, we're one of the first people they call to say, hey, what do you think of our new property and where can we put the water feature? That's a huge compliment to me. Not only do we keep them happy with our service, but they love it so much that they want to bring it to their new home. This is going to be a medium large pond. It's a koi pond and it is going to be fantastic. We're starting it with a seven by nine wetland filter. We're going to have about 20 feet of stream and we have the perfect setting. We have a deck just built for entertainment. On the upper level, the lower level, it is ready to have an awesome view of an awesome waterfall and koi pond. So we're gonna bring in a rental machine. You know how much I love when we get a chance to play with those rental machines. Today the goal is to spray out our shape, to set our staging, and then pull out all this sod, get it into the trailer so we can get ready to bring in gravel tomorrow morning. All right, everyone. Project number 14 starts right now. Time to get to work. Remember to always give yourself a zero mark so you're congruent. Right there, we're gonna go right off that spot on the patio. All right, Brad's just getting the finishing touches of the sod ripped out. We like to rip out the sod anywhere we're gonna be doing structure. You know, we don't like to build up with the sod, so we take it out where the pond is. And then anywhere the waterfall and wetland's gonna end up being, we wanna get that out of there because we don't want any settling. So we like to spend some time ripping the sod up, get it hauled out unless the clients have a compost area. So when you're watching this, think about having a compost area set up for us if you already have one. If not, we don't mind hauling it away. gonna do it for the end of day one we got a lot done we got everything staged we got the sod ripped up we got ourselves to zero so when the rental machine gets here tomorrow we really gonna start cutting into the earth make sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not yet it is a free thing you can do to help us we're just trying to get the word out that water features are fun everywhere this time it's right here in New Prague Minnesota that's gonna do it for day one we will talk to you tomorrow I love my job skimmer on a level side to side with a quarter pitch backwards so rainwater drains out of our drainage got the second tier the bulk of it dug now we're gonna figure out that third tier looking good things are coming along well Justin's just finishing up building of the aqua blocks got 14 smalls for our wetland filter area we'll show you how we and why we use those when we get there thank you sir We've got our hole excavated. Uh, we did a lot of having to pull out irrigation and now Justin's working on capping some of these heads because we want to extend our dirt 
out to help our sloping and making sure that this feels like it was always here. It is feeling that way. It's looking awesome. Got some big boulders ready. Aiden's got the fabric cut, so we've got two pieces of 15 by 33 foot long fabric to go in here. We'll go 33 the long way. Two pieces should do it great. Skimmer is set. We'll get the plumbing in once we have a good idea of where our final grade is going to be. But things are coming along really well. It is a hot day though. Hot, hot, hot. Today was just a digging day and uh, really prepping to do what we just did, which was put our liner down. We've got fabric, liner, and now we're going to put some more fabric on top of the liner in different spots to make sure we protect that liner. Everything we do is protect that liner. So Right now we're going to work on fish cave and placing a couple of big boulders down in there before we call it a day. And what an awesome day it's been. Forward progress and safe, that's all we're after. And man, we made a lot of forward and safe progress today. I love the way it's looking and uh, cool thing is I can see it in my head. For you guys, only a little bit of time. You keep watching, you're gonna see something cool, I promise you. And uh, we're gonna turn nothing into something fantastic in just a matter of days. We'll talk to you tomorrow. I love my job. Today we're joining the guys as they're in the middle of rocking in the pond. They've already got a lot of boulder staged on the hillside. They started rocking in around this fish tunnel putting in some character boulders, some building blocks. They're right now working on the boulder to make sure it's in a level spot so when we build on top of it, uh, it's structurally sound, which they are already on top of. It's so, it's so fun to come to the job site to see these guys making forward progress without me, making good decisions, and uh, all the things that we have tried to embody as a team are just moving along with or without me. I love when that's happening. So these guys are getting it. They love what they do just like I do. And as a team, we get a lot of cool things done. It's the start of day three and all we're gonna be doing in today is rocking in this pond. always convey on video is the importance of using straps. As you notice we place every boulder with a strap system to make sure that we're protecting your liner. One of the worst things that could happen is a huge hole in the liner because it's hard to find. We do have episodes on how to find and fix a, line, a hole in the liner but the best thing to fix a liner a hole is to not even create one. And so this is a little bit of a tedious process at times to get that strap out. Our guys are very careful. I love it. They very much care about what they're doing. That's Brad and Aiden right there. The handyman and the medic doing their thing. As you notice, our machines are running all nicely recently. That's because the medic is staying on top of it. He is a uh, well, maybe it's a machine wellness advisor as well. <laughs> well, you're keeping them healthy. And a medic is in an emergency. You know? Maybe a half hour we're going to be spending on this one rock just to get it perfectly level, get it at the right height where the water is going to be nice and close to where you're standing. It goes down deep so the fish are going to feel comfortable coming up to you. And we got it just where we want and have this void back here so we decided to backfill with gravel to make it even a bigger walking on platform where you can walk on out of here. So 
that's what's taking so long. Sometimes we'll spend 30 minutes, hour on one rock, and that's just how it goes. That's the end of day three. We will be back tomorrow. We're gonna to be picking boulders with the Pond Princess first thing tomorrow morning. We have a boss on site. Little Lady Emerson is gonna be here with us. Aiden has a day off, but man, he got us in a great spot with the machines cared for, ready to go. Um, and it's not really, he's gonna be moving, moving with his family tomorrow, so it's not exactly a day off. He's gonna be working too. Uh, but we'll be excited for him to come back on Friday. As for you guys, just keep watching because this is going to be a fantastic pond. I love my job. I love what we get to do. I love our clients and I love what we, I love our creations we leave behind. I got to go spend some time with a client yesterday on project number three. If you haven't watched that one yet, there's a card right here that'll take you to that. The final reveal on project three is awesome. Much like this is going to be. All right, everyone. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. Are y'all ready for some more? Because it's the start of day four with uh, my little four-year-old. The Pond Princess is joining me this morning. She woke up at 6 a.m. so we could get to the rock yard by 7. And now we're down here in Farmington, Minnesota at Rock Hard Landscape Supply. And we're going to pick out another load of boulders for Project 14. And we've got a special helper making sure we pick out some really cool ones today. So let's do it. First time picking boulders. Are you having fun? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's pick some good ones, huh? Ready to see the boulders you picked out? Yeah. Yeah. That's the little rock Emerson picked out. <laughs> and Dan's so kind, he brought it by hand. What do you say? Louder. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. This is what we do with your foster kids. Yeah. They're neat. <laughs> And another awesome delivery of stone from the man to a Pond King Water Garden job site. We got some real good things happening here. Emerson's been helpful. Are you having fun, Em? Now she's gonna take a little break and watch her iPad. She's been in the machine helping me. Let's see, we got some really sweet stuff happening. Look at that red rock sticking up against that blue one with that dark rusty one. We've got some awesome rocks happening there. Love the way that line's looking. Got the sweet rock to fall in right into place how we want it. Some real tight lines with that point going down, locking everything in so nice and tightly. You could move that one rock and you could see all four of those rocks moving. So everything's locked in nicely. Got a retention boulder right there. That's gonna be a nice one to dig into the hillside here. Kind of placing that in as we're making our turn around. And then we've got some really cool stuff up front for our frame rocks to bring our waterfall down in through there. I know what we want to do on this turn here too, but it's just a matter of making it all happen now. A lot to do. So right now Justin is making sure that we don't have any gravel that's going to fall off of our ledges. He's securing everything, plugging in holes, plugging in gaps, filling in all the open spaces with the 6 to 12s, the 2 to 4s, gravel that needs it behind any of these big rocks. Brad's been running material for the last hour and a half or so, just getting it back here. That is a big name of the game is just getting your options and seeing what you have to work with. So then we're doing that right now. We've got this awesome frame rock right there. Just a huge boulder that's gonna be up out of the water. Man, that's gonna look awesome. Gonna bring the waterfall in right next to it. So we've got a cool frame rock ready to go on the other side. 
and uh, I think we've got a cool waterfall set up for that. Well, I know we do. Now it's just a matter of which rock is going to be the one that goes there, or is it going to go there, or is it going to go there? We'll find out as we keep going. because we got some big boulders on that hillside already. What we're doing is we're carrying that look all the way across. Now we're gonna have our waterfall coming in. I want another big drop happening where that retaining wall rock is. I want our frame rocks to be somewhat similar in height. So we're gonna have probably two more drops. So one there, one there, and one into the pond. Plus we're gonna have two more behind the machine there. So it'll be a good five drops happening. Uh, some real impressive ones. You're gonna be able to see it from up there. And uh, we're just gonna keep on plugging away. Awesome. Well, today was my day to come in a little bit behind these guys. I had a consultation that started at 7 a.m. It was a fabulous consultation. Ended up going until a little after 9. Then I had a couple errands I had to run. I went to Rock Hard Jordan, which is only a few minutes away from the job site here, about 10, 15 minutes from us. That's always awesome. Uh, super friendly. Got some gravel, 6 to 12 inch in the back of the trailer, and some more 2 to 4. And I was pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised to see what the guys had gotten done this morning. Things are looking really good. They're working on hiding the skimmer right now. They've done a lot of the, the shoreline work, I like to call it, where you're mixing in these sizes and helping break up our lines, working in the gravel. Things are looking great. Man, awesome, awesome. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> So Brad is plugging in gaps, filling in the holes. Things are looking really good throughout the pond. Coming together really nicely. We'll be covering all the flat spots with gravel. Right now the guys are working on bringing in the waterfall. We want to have a little bit of a water splitting around that one. We got the wedge on, so things have to be pretty perfect for that. Pretty intricate little spot, uh, but it's going to look cool just to even have a little water coming off that. as a cool ripple happening right there. Just to bring some current in that area. Got this cool shoreline effect Justin made, a little shallow area, zero entry for birds and things like that. And we're just plugging away at it. Things are going well though. That's gonna do it for the first week. Day five. Feel alive? I do feel alive. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> great. Because it's the end of day five. <laughs> Alright, we're prepped and ready for rain. Uh, it could rain over the weekend. And we're just making sure things are braced for that. We've got tarps over where we're gonna be driving back and forth. Waterfall liner stretched out. We've got a big waterfall liner to play with. We've got some cool stuff we're working on. Uh, we've got some good boulders, some plan ahead of us. So when we come back for day six, we're gonna have a great time and get our kicks because it'll be day six. Dad jokes, right? <laughs> At least someone smiles. Sponsored by Pond King Water Gardens. Living works of art, one yard at a time.